Hi guys, this is Daryl Addison at TorpedoPot.com. Daryl Addison at TorpedoPot.com. And you saw us with the uh, plant the seeds for these sugar pea plants in these planters. There's about 50 of them in these planters. I want you to come a little closer. I want to show how healthy they are. Come take a look at this. Look at these leaves in this plant. Now this is a torpedo pot. Its goal is to grow your food, okay? So what we do is that we create a foundation for your plants to be built on, which is the soil. And the pot allows the soil to release all of the nutrients and develop all the microbes to grow your plants. Now I've got planters of these peas all over the place. And that's to people that's not a problem. Um, I want you to pay close attention to these pea plants because I want you to, to see what I'm saying, okay? And that is, do you see one plant dying out of, I would say, 650 plants? Do you see one plant dying? Let's say 50 in each planter. And so, I don't see anything dead. And so what we're coming back to do now is that we're going to um, stand them up. If you look at this planter right here, We've already st stood the planters, the pea plants up. As you can see, they're coming out in this direction. They drop down and they plop themselves back up. A lot of you are asking me, is Mr. Addison, why are you growing it densely in this area? You know, don't you care about your peas? Don't you want them to have enough fresh air and light? Well, you know, the answer to that question is that each plant grows differently. And some plants like to be close to each other. Others like to be far away from each other as possible. And uh, some plants use that space to create their own ecosystem. And so what the torpedo pot does is allows that to take place. Now, I have this stick in this planter and it was actually centering the plants for them to bounce back up. I'm just gonna move my stick back a little bit and I'm going to re-stick it in this pot. And most of you are asking me a question why are you doing this? And because I'm doing this because I'm trying to grow a large amount of peas. I'm not trying to get five pea plants and make them as pretty as possible. I'm trying to grow as many as I can because my growing season is pretty short. Because I'm coming in early with uh, this cool weather crop that we have. So. I wanted to show you because what we're going to do now is just we're going to continue this. I got some bamboo and I might have paid, I don't know, maybe $8 for a bag or something of that nature. I just go anywhere and get a stick. And what I want you to do is to recenter your plant. So we've recentered this so the weight is not on one side. They'll take many different directions to start growing again. So I'm going to cut it to the height that I want it. It's about right here. What I did is I brought a little measuring tape so we can actually do it together. Add a little science to it. So this one came to about 36 inches. So we'll cut the next one at 36 inches. It's always good to have some type of symmetry. Pull this back. The 36 inches is about right there. Let's cut about that nose. Let's do it together. All right, so about right here is 36. So I'm gonna slowly just cut it, spin it around. Don't cut right directly into it. Just slowly chop it off and just let that bamboo fall to the ground. And that's amazing, because they're about the right same height. And so, we're gonna recenter the peas. You see, they're all in this section here. We're gonna spin this pan around. We're gonna find the center. Now, we don't wanna damage any of the uh, parts, okay? So we're gonna be really gentle. Find the center, drop your stick down. That's all you have to do, okay? Now, you may have to do this throughout the year, for instance, those who are growing peas. Some, it takes about 11 weeks to really get a good crop of, of uh, sugar, sugar peas. And so you might be doing this multiple times a year for those who are strictly growing your crop of peas. You're going to recenter your plant. You don't want anything. Now, the sort of funny thing about the pea plant, the reason why you don't see any damaged limbs in this planter is because we're not pouring water nor is the pea touching the ground. That's why they're not damaged. So all of that energy is being 
sent through these little vines right here and it's reaching its destination and they're so tiny but I still want you to pay attention that nothing's dying okay I want you to see that so what I'm going to do now is start centering all of these plants give them an opportunity for life so that they can uh, stand up more and better this is Dara Addison at torpedoplant.com I want to thank you guys for uh, taking the time to look at this video I think it will be very very helpful to you to uh, grow your plants there's a lot of things that can be observed from this setup here that you're not seeing like you don't have a problem with rodents if you manage your pot correctly because the smaller ones can't really get up into the pot We'll talk about that in a little video. Guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.